Hello and welcome to Jim Balls Gaming. I am Scorp and here I am on my Steam Deck. And once again, after a update, I have lost my option to boot into Steam OS. So if I come to the boot manager, I can only see my Windows partition and some network boot options and no Steam OS, which is really annoying. I have previously made a video on this and my original solution was to move between channels, but that's not feasible at the moment. I did leave a comment and a uh, another comment in the description showing how to do this from the command line so i'm going to do that now because i don't want to change my channel again so first off you're going to need to turn off your deck and boot up by holding down the volume up and power that will bring you to this menu and you can simply come to boot from file and in the first option which is esp you can come down to efi steam os and just click this steamcl.efi and that will boot you into SteamOS. Now this won't be a persistent change, so this is why we need to drop into desktop and we just need to run a simple command. So once your SteamOS is booted, simply come down to power and go to switch to desktop. Come to your terminal. So let's just type in EFI boot manager and see what it says, MGR. Uh, you can do this with the on-screen keyboard. It is a pain, so plug one in if you can. Enter. And this is telling me that the boot order is boot Windows first, then try to boot from USB, and then from a DVD somehow. Uh, and it's also got network boots on boot 0000 and on boot 0001. So I'm going to just go back to my video, original video and see what I wrote. So I told it to give it a label of SteamOS, give it the location that we just navigated to manually and which partition it's on, which is NVMe N1P1. And I was giving it a number, a boot number. I'm not sure if that part's actually necessary, but I'm gonna stick it in anyway. And I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna be lazy. I could just type it in, but I'm, I am lazy. You are really lazy, right? So copy that, right click, paste. So I should now read sudo, EFI boot manager dash C, which means create, dash L, which means label, add a label, so I want to call SteamOS. Little L is the location, and that is the place where I said EFI, SteamOS, SteamCL.EFI. And the disk is dev NVMe 0, N1, P1. And I want to put it on boot three, so maybe that's why it was getting overridden because the network boots wanted to be on the other two. So I don't know, let's put it on three. And we need the password, if I can remember my password. If you don't remember your password, try this video up here. There's also another video as well up here. So <laughs> they've got you covered, hopefully. So let's see if I can remember what my password is. Right, finally, I remembered my password. So my apologies, I should have made this bigger. I'll just clear the screen and show it again. So. So you might be able to see this a bit better now, but yeah, there it is. It, so that did work. Let's just type in EFI boot manager again, EFI boot MGR and take a look at what it's now saying to us. So now here down at boot 0003, we have SteamOS and we have the location where it's meant to be going. So I'm now going to restart my deck and let's see if that change has indeed taken effect. So I have now booted back up and I am booting up using the minus and power just to show you the boot manager. And as you can see, we now have that option for SteamOS. And now we can boot back into SteamOS and everything's fine. And that is it. We are now back into SteamOS and it will be persistent in the boot manager now until the next update probably. So I've already made a video on this, but I'll show it again just as an added bonus for this video. But if you're dual booting, you will know the frustration of the Steam Deck always booting into Windows. And you might want to actually boot into Steam OS most of the time, because I do. I mostly want to be in Steam OS, and only every so often I want to go into Windows. So it's frustrating that I have to hold the power down, sorry, the volume down and power on to get into Steam OS every time. So I did write this little utility, which will do that for us. There are other options out there. You can use Refind or whatever else. There's many other options now, but I found this the simplest. It's a very small install and it works well for me. Basically, it forces the option of next boot in SteamOS. So if you're in SteamOS, it will make sure that the next boot is, well, whatever you select it, really. So all you need to do, basically, is one, come to the GitHub page, two, read the code, make sure you're happy with the code. That is the main point of open source code. You can inspect the code and make sure it's 
actually not malicious or anything. But basically all it does is it installs this service, which is very simple. It tells the Steam Deck to boot up into SteamOS again next time instead of Windows. So let's just do that. So like I say, it's a simple install. Just inst copy this line of curl, come to your terminal and simply paste that in. So there we go. That is the code. I'm going to click enter. It's going to ask you if you really want to do it. I'm going to say, yes, I do. And I, you can also auto configure. There is a manual configure. If you're triple booting with Fedora or anything, you can also do a manual and then select from here what you actually want to do. But you can always just use auto and then it will always pick Steam OS. So I'm just going to click auto. And you'll need your password. So that is now installed. And if we type in EFI boot MGR, you will see that it says the current the boot current is free, which is obviously our Steam OS now. And the next boot will also be free. So that will now stop you from getting booted into Windows every time. And to prove that, I'm just gonna click the restart. And there we go, as if by magic, we have restarted back into SteamOS rather than Windows. And when we just turn on the deck normally now, just by holding down the power button, we will still be just put back into SteamOS. There is some limitations with this code, as it only runs when you are on SteamOS. So if you boot up into SteamOS, it will restart <coughs> back into SteamOS. But if you do boot up into Windows, then it will boot up into Windows again afterwards. But every time you boot into SteamOS, it will always select SteamOS as the next boot. Oh, that makes sense. But that's what I want to do mostly. If I'm in SteamOS and I press the restart, then I expect it to go back to SteamOS. And if I'm on Windows, then when I press restart, I expect it to go back into Windows. So that is perfectly fine for my use case. So I hope that helped. I always ramble on a bit in these videos. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you did. And I'll catch you next time.